In this video, I'm going to describe the process of setting up the MyDAC instrument so that we can measure the current and voltage from a 9 volt battery as it passes through a resistor. The 9 volt battery is going to be connected to the circuit using the 9 volt battery connector. Right now as I set up the circuit, I'm going to not place the battery in the circuit yet because I don't want it to uh, reduce uh, any of the energy that is being provided if by the battery. Because I want to measure a current, I'm first going to uh, situate my leads in the National Instruments MyDAC instrument to measure a current using the digital multimeter feature. To do so, I'm going to look at the bottom of the MyDAC device and insert my leads into the appropriate terminals so that we can measure current. With my test leads now configured, what I'm going to do is I'm going to situate my test leads so that I can measure the current that's going to be delivered from the battery. Remember that for current measurements we need to measure the current in series. So I'm going to take the high side of the battery output and connect it to the high side input of my ammeter. The easiest way to do that is going to be to use alligator clips. So I'm going to connect my alligator clip to the high side test lead of the ammeter as well as to the high side lead coming from the battery. Next, the low side of the ammeter or the black lead wire is going to need to be connected to my load, which is my resistor. Again, I'm going to use a test lead or an alligator clip to make that connection. In this configuration, the current will pass from the high side of the battery through my meter, through the test lead, and into the resistor. Finally, I need to connect the low side of the battery back to the resistor. So on my breadboard, I'm going to connect the black wire of the 9 volt battery um, clip to the low side of the resistor. With those connections now made, the next thing I'm going to do is configure the National Instruments MyDAC device so that we can measure the voltage or the potential difference that's developed across this resistive element. To measure the potential difference, we are going to use the analog input capabilities of the MyDAC device because the digital multimeter is already being used to measure the current. The analog input channels for the MyDAC device are located right here on the right hand side of the device. To make it easier to make these connections, your MyDAC device includes this screw terminal lead clip that can be inserted into the ports for the, um, for the various inputs on the right hand side of the MyDAC. So I'm going to go ahead and do that takes a bit of force to, uh, to clip it in, and once it's in place, we can then use the screw terminal leads right here to connect wires to our breadboard circuit. For this voltage measurement, I'm going to use analog input channel 0. To do that, I'm going to need to connect two wires to measure the voltage on analog input channel 0 which is indicated on the MyDAC device by the 0 plus and the 0 minus where the plus indicates the high side of the measurement and the minus sign indicates the low side of the measurement. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the screwdriver to open up those yokes so that I can insert the wire into that channel. Right, and I as I unscrew this, the yoke will drop down so that I can insert the wire into that spot. And then I can screw 
the yoke back up so that it clamps onto the wire and the wire remains in place. With the test wires now inserted into the MyDAC device using the screw terminals, the only thing left to do is to connect the voltage input, the analog input voltage input on channel 0 to my resistive element. This behaves just like a voltmeter where the high side should go on the high potential side that we're going to measure and the low potential side or the zero minus lead should be connected to the low side of the resistor. I'm going to go ahead and make those connections on the breadboard. With those connections now made, we are prepared to make measurements of both the current passing through the resistor as well as the potential that's developed across the resistor once we connect a battery to our 9 volt battery connector. In the next video, I'm going to show you how we can develop a LabVIEW program to capture and store all of that information.